morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. And how do you do? Dear children, welcome to today's English class of grade 4. Today we are in unit 7 and dealing with the lesson listening, speaking and pronunciation I. Okay, so we are learning pronunciation of the words given in the group I. That, that means group 1. So, we have lots of activities to do today's in today's class. Okay, let's hurry up. Starting with, okay, we, whatever the exercises we have been doing from the beginning, they are based on the unit title that is location right our unit title is location and whatever activities we have been doing from the beginning from the first lesson of this unit that is depend on location giving location that means prepositions right so in previous class also we practice uh, preposition giving location of different things of uh, leaving room, we practice of leaving room, right? So, likewise, today's class also will be based on location, prepositions. That's why we are starting today's class with preposition song. Here it goes, preposition song. So, all of you please be ready for this song. Sing with me loudly and let's have fun together. All of you, are you ready for that? Okay, I know all of you are ready and excited too, right? Let's start this. Okay, sing with me. Sing together with me, okay? Let's start. One, two, three, four. Where is the mouse? The mouse is in the house. Where is the cat? The cat is in the hat. Where is the fish? The fish is in the dish. And where are you? I'm, the, I'm in the classroom. In, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, between, in, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, between. One, two, three, four, where is the bear? The bear is on the chair. Where is the snake? The snake is on the cake. Where is the guitar? The guitar is on the car. And where are you? I'm on the chair too. In, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, between, in, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, between. Yay! Okay, we have completed today's preposition song. I hope you must have enjoyed this preposition song and also learned some prepositions, right? And this, this would be a quite a revision for your previous class, what we have been doing from the beginning. So, we read a lesson on, uh, read a text on uh, prepositions, uh, based on preposition. Then we did activities related to that. And after that, we did something writing also based on prepositions. Today, we are doing listening. Yes, we are listening. Uh, we are listening audio. Okay, we are listening to the audio and do the activities according to that. So, for that, you need to really pay attention to the audio and also to the questions that uh, we are going to discuss uh, after a few minutes. We are going to discuss before that we have something to discuss before starting our lesson. What is that? Pre-listening activities. Look at here. Okay. Look at the picture and answer the questions. Okay, so first of all, look 
at this picture very carefully. Observe. What do you see? Hmm? What are the questions? Okay, answer the questions mean there are questions. Here are the questions. We have two questions over here. Okay, first of all, look at first of all look at the picture. Have you? All right. Then what do you see over here? What do you see in the picture? Okay, we can see two people, right? We can see two people over here. A man and a lady. A man and a lady. There is something in the man's hand, right? And he is showing to the lady. So, guess. Now, make a guess. Who do you think they are? Who do you think they are? Hmm? Okay. They may be friends, right? They may be friends. Okay. The way they are sitting, they must be friends or known to, they are known to each other, right? Because they are sitting very close in the chairs. So, must be, they must know each other. So, it could be friends. What's your guess? Maybe the same, right? They might be friends. Any other guesses who they could be? Mm, okay, you must have your own guesses. We will find it out later on. Okay, number B. Let's move to number B. What do you think the boy is holding in his hand? Okay, as you can see in the picture, the boy is holding something in hand. What do you think? What is that? Is it a book? What do you think? Is it a book? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like a book. Book just to the now. Then what is it? Is it a mobile? No, it's bigger than mobile. Then what it must be? Okay. Think it must be something digital device. Could it digital device? Right? So, what it must be? Maybe this is iPad. Okay. This is uh, uh, iPad. Okay. And um, they must be sewing something there. In there, maybe focusing or looking at. Um, okay. My guess. Uh, before I guess, you can guess what is there. Okay. Maybe something. Okay. The lesson is related to location. As we are reading location, maybe sewing to the uh, location. Okay, that means there must be map or something like that. Isn't that? Okay, they are discussing about map. Maybe, okay, that's a case only. We will confirm it after listening. What, who are these people? What are they? Uh, what is the boy holding? What are they discussing about? So we can guess over here only and we can be confirmed after listening only. Okay, so let's move to the listening. So as you know, you will be given three times for listening, a three, three times chance to listen to the audio. First of all, I play the audio, you listen and you get familiar with the text. Then I will show you, I will give you some questions. Okay, the questions are in your book too. We will discuss the questions for a while. Then again, you will get second listening. After second listening, you have to find out all the answers and you have to write there. Then third time listening, you have to confirm your answers. Okay. So, are you ready, uh, ready for listening? Here it goes. Our first listening. What's your town like? Well, it's quite old. There's a big square in the town centre. It's called Town Hall Square because the town hall is there. Is there a market in the square? Yes, there is. There's a market every Wednesday. That sounds nice. What are the other buildings in the square? Well, on one side of the square, there's a big hotel. Opposite the hotel, 
There's a museum. Where are the shops? Next to the hotel in Penny Street. Most of the shops are there. Okay, have you found the answers? Who do you think they are? Oh, they must be. They must be friends, or uh, the lady must be the foreigner, and she's inquiring about the town uh, of this of the boy, right? And uh, the boy must be uh, holding iPad or with map, map of the town, and showing to the lady, and they are discussing about it. Now we are moving to the questions. Okay, questions. Main activity that you have to do. For this, I'll play the audio again. Let's discuss the questions beforehand. Number B. Listen to the audio and complete the sentences. Use one word only. Okay, focus this. Use one word only. Here we have to fill in the blanks, five blanks, E to E, and we have to fill off only one word in each blank. One word, not two or three. Okay, focus one word. Number A. Moving to number A. The name of town is town dot dot square. Okay, so you have to focus while listening to the audio. You have to focus on the name of town. What is the name of town? You have to write the word uh, word name. Number B. The market can be seen every every what. Every day, every day name or everywhere. What is it? So you have to fill up a word over here that comes after every. Okay. Number C. There is a large. So what is large? On the side of the square. Something is there at the side of the square. What is that? Particular thing you have to right over here number d the museum is opposite to the museum is opposite to something um, some building uh, that building name you have to write opposite to what number e most of the shops are in penny the dot penny what penny is name of something either river or what is that? Okay, something. You have to write what penny is the name of what? What building, river, road? What is it? You have to find it out after listening. So, are you ready, all of you, to fill up these blanks with the right answer? I hope all of you are ready and you will be able to find out answer after listening the audio. Or some of you, you must have noticed in the first listening. You might have. Uh, you can uh, keep your guesses. So once again, confirm these guesses. Listen the audio for the second time. What's your town like? Well, it's quite old. There's a big square in the town centre. It's called Town Hall Square because the town hall is there. Is there a market in the square? Yes, there is. There's a market every Wednesday. That sounds nice. What are the other buildings in the square? Well, on one side of the square, there's a big hotel. Opposite the hotel, there's a museum. Where are the shops? Next to the hotel in Penny Street. Most of the shops are there. Have you found all the answers? You must have found the answers. Have you found the name of town? What is the town? The market can be seen every... Okay. So, be, uh, I will provide you answers over here. Okay. The name of the town, Hall Square. Is it the same with you? Okay. Let me give you a clap for those who have guessed Hall. Town Hall, the Hall Square, the 
name of town is Ho Town Hall Square. The hall was missing. Number B, the market can be seen every Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. A big round of applause for those who guessed Wednesday. Number C, there is a large. What's their large? Hotel, right? Hotel on one side of the square. Clap for those who guessed it correctly. Number D. The museum is opposite to the what? Opposite to the? Yes, hotel again. Number E. Most of the so uh, shops are in Penny Street. Okay, all of you, you must have guessed smartly all the answers. Now, I am going to play it for the third time with a uh, once again for confirming this all okay let's go to listening once again let's go to audio what's again. your town like well it's quite old there's a big square in the town center it's called town hall square because the town hall is there is there a market in the square yes there is there's a market every wednesday that sounds nice what are the other buildings in the square? Well, on one side of the square, there's a big hotel. Opposite the hotel, there's a museum. Where are the shops? Next to the hotel in Penny Street. Most of the shops are there. All right, we have finished with this listening activity B. Now let's move to the next activity of listening, post listening activity. Number C. What are the different places around your village or town? What are the places around your village or town? Tell your friends about their location. Okay, last time we practiced locations regarding the things only. The things that were kept in the living room, kitchen or other rooms we practice. Today, uh, we are trying with uh, the buildings, right? Buildings are some places, locations. We are practicing with location. Now, we have to talk about village or town. Your village or town and use the words specially like, okay, these are examples only. We can use, okay. More than this, etc. This is behind, opposite, in front of, etc. Is there? That means you can use next to, above, below, uh, other uh, prepositions. We can use that we have been practicing. Okay, let's practice about okay some village. I have brought a picture for you. Okay, town first. Let's try about town. Uh, we have a picture over here. What do you see in the picture? What can we see here in the picture? This is a picture of a town. Okay, which town? We don't know. Let's just a town. Okay, this is just sample example only. Any any town. Uh, this is for practice only. So, what situation in is in the what is the situation in the street? The situation right now. What can you see over here? The street is busy okay the street is busy and the buses and all the vehicles are uh, they are running and people are walking at the side of the um, footpath at the side of the street on the footpath they are walking on the footpath now we have to use the prepositions that we were suggested to use to describe different things over here what can you see others other things can you name some more okay what can you see can you name some more things that you can see in this picture boss okay boss you can see vehicles shops good shops and more what do you see tree okay we can see a tree and then street lamp okay you can see street lamp over here and what about this one what is this a clock tower right tower is there 
there are uh, all the towers also one more tower is here clock tower streets shops and here are some buildings buildings these things we can see now uh, what do we do is we have to use these words in the sentence like uh, it is a picture of a town we can see the street is busy the vehicles are running the shops are open there are many buildings we can see also see a clock tower in this picture now how do you describe um, in the sentences you have to use the sentences like okay what we can say is um, clock tower is um, behind this um, tall tower let's say tall tower a uh, tree a green tree is a big green tree is opposite of the um, big tower right big tower and then what else what else you can say over here okay a clock tower is behind the tall tower street lamps okay what is this street lamps are erected in front of the shops okay in front of the shops you can see the street lamps they are erected in front of the shops a big tree is to the opposite of clock tower or a big tower opposite to it and you can use more sentences using proportion like this to describe this picture this is example of town and one more example is there okay this is a picture of what is this picture of yes this is the picture of a village 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 or somewhere very far we, we, this is example only okay this is a village uh, we can see what's the situation over here the village life we can see a village life here also we can see people right people walking they are also busy in their own work what else do you see many trees we can see many trees even it looks like a tree house it looks like a tree house and okay we can see bridge over here bridge and then the river if there is bridge obviously there is bridge uh, river and then boats there are boats river a beautiful scenery of a village so here right this is a picture of a village we can see the path is busy the path is busy path we can see people are walking in the path and then they are walking they are there are a small cottages small small cottages you can see uh, we can also see bridges one two there are many and a river tree house this looks like tree house isn't it tree house in this picture is really interesting uh, village is here now what do we have to do again yes we have to make sentences using the prepositions example for a tree house is behind the cottage this uh, tree house behind the cottage right pachari cottage ko pachari tree house and then a uh, bridge is in front of a small cottage bridge you can see this bridge it is in front of the cottage agari in front of the cottage the village is on the river bank this is the river and the village whole village is on the river bank similarly you can make many sentences using more prepositions like next to beside between on in at so make as more sentences as possible okay after this we are entering into speaking session okay all of you let's enter into the speaking session in speaking session what we are going to do do you remember this activity box activity that we did last time a look at the pictures where is the marble work in the pairs to ask the questions 
ask and answer questions when you ask point to the picture okay so with box let me show you with box okay i'll show you a box last time also we did this box box activity with bottle we did with this bottle where is the bottle right where is the bottle activity if i put this bottle here like this where is the bottle when i ask what do you answer the bottle is in the box and if it is here the bottle is in front of the box right now where is the bottle the bottle is beside to the box where is the bottle now the box is be uh, the bottle is below the box just like where is the bottle now the bottle is above the box where is the bottle now the bottle is behind the box right so we practice in this way now what activity is given in your book box and marvel marvel that you play right so marvel is here and the box the question is where is the marvel so what do you say just now just now we did just now we practice i think you can answer it easily it's above the box it's above the box okay now next question where is the marvel the question is same every time but the answers are different because the position of marvel is different right where is the marvel the it's behind the box it's behind the box as you can see over here what about in this picture where is the marvel as you can see the marvel is between two boxes right two boxes there between two boxes there is a marvel let's move to next picture where is it now where is the marvel in this picture it's in the box this time it's in the box what about this picture where is the marvel where is the marvel it's in front of the box in front of the box next where is the marvel in this picture the marvel where is the marvel it's left to the box you can say next to the box beside the box they means the same okay beside left to next to they means the same and what about in this picture where is the marvel it's on the box it's not over see the marvel touches the surface of the box you marvel le box le choiko cha ni agi ko ma suru ko ma choiko thiena right you thakai isko mathi cha so it is it's on the box now what about this picture where is the marvel where is the marvel it's beside the box beside the box and this one where is the marvel it's next to the box okay this is the last one i guess where is the marble once again the same question it's below the box now we are moving to next activity what's that okay observe the picture there are different things in the room where are they talk about the following things in the pairs okay in, this is pair activity you will be, uh, divide a uh, whole class into pair you can work with your pair your, your best friend or the friend bench partner with a uh, bench partner you can work this find out these words in this picture first of all where is the ball umbrella picture bicycle vase flower vase flower chair lamp mouse window so where is the ball the first question is where is the ball one can ask where is the ball 
can you see it's here also here right and here if you are talking about this ball it's on the sofa and if you are talking about this ball it is under a table right and another where is the umbrella the umbrella is on the floor where is the picture it's on the wall where is the bicycle bicycle is in front of the sofa where is the vase it's on the rack where is the flower it's in the vase where is the chair it is beside the table lamp is beside the sofa and then mouse can you see mouse over here oh it's here the mouse is between ball and umbrella and then window is behind the sofa so in this way you one has to ask the question and another has to reply let's see what activity is there more okay never see where are the things in your classroom practice saying where is thing is in the classroom this is sample classroom one of the sample classroom you must have such kind of class uh, similar classroom you talk about your own classroom uh, let me give you one example of this classroom so what can you see first of all name the things you can see clock chairs table bag rack uh, a board right calendar and there is a uh, TV as well, TV set. So you can ask anything. Where is a clock? A clock is on the wall. It's between two windows, right? Where is the board? The board is in front of the class. Likewise, you can ask question, many questions to your friend and your friend will answer these questions about the classroom now we have one more session that is pronunciation first okay pronunciation i okay what words are there in the pronunciation let's see pronounce the following words notice what sound the letters are in uh, rate make it is said but okay let's uh, recognize the sound over here let's uh, recognize the sound in these words sound sound everybody pronounce with me sound round found round found now bow it is bow how proud brown cloud and finally bow this is bow okay this is also bow this is branch branches of the tree bow so here what sound have you noticed ow ow sound yes you have practiced ow sound sound round found now bow how proud brown cloud bow okay with this we have come to the end of today's class we have done many activities today listening speaking activities and pronunciation at the at last that's all for today hope you have enjoyed today's class namaste